One of the most powerful telescope humanity has ever built has just revealed something that challenges the very core of what we believe about existence. What if in looking deeper into space than ever before, we've stumbled upon evidence that questions everything we thought we knew about the birth of the cosmos, about time and distance, about reality itself? The James Webb Space Telescope engineered to capture light from the dawn of the universe was expected to confirm and refine our current theories, but instead, it's beginning to raise profound questions that scientists are only just starting to grapple with. The data it's sending back is not just intriguing, it's transformative. It's forcing astronomers and physicists alike to reconsider ideas that, until now, were treated as settled truths. One leading physicist described the implications as boundary pushing, not because they contradict everything we know, but because they stretch the limits of our understanding. With every observation Webb makes, we're being invited compelled even to see the universe not as we assumed it must be, but as it truly is dot in a tiny portion of the night sky a region flooded with ancient light the telescope recorded. What appeared at first to be just another faint glow. Such soft, distant flickers are common in deep space imaging. But as researchers looked closer, they realized they weren't observing a familiar kind of galaxy at all. What they had found was something extraordinary, that faint glow turned out to be the oldest and most distant galaxy ever recorded a cosmic structure that formed only about 290 million years after the Big Bang. It was designated GSZ-140 and, while it might have looked unassuming at first glance, it turned out to be a galactic giant massive, luminous, and surprisingly well organized for its age. According to prevailing cosmological models, galaxies like this weren't supposed to exist so early. The early universe was assumed to be chaotic and unstructured, filled with turbulent gas clouds and still forming matter. Complex galaxies, especially ones this bright and large, were thought to require far more time to form, and yet, here it was, and not just one, the Webb Telescope has now uncovered dozens of similarly early galaxies some at redshift Z14, placing them even closer to the origin of time itself. Each one is like a cosmic riddle, presenting qualities that seem to violate our assumptions about how long it takes stars and structures to emerge after the Big Bang. The more researchers looked, the clearer it became these galaxies were not. Anomalies, they were evidence of a more efficient, more rapid kind of cosmic evolution than we previously imagined, and the surprises didn't stop there. Some of these early galaxies are not only massive, they are also incredibly compact. Many of them appear as tiny red dots in the data, which might be galaxies compressed by immense gravitational forces or possibly black holes surrounded by furious star-forming regions. In the known universe, most galaxies turn only about 10% of their gas into stars. But these early structures seem to be forming stars with remarkable efficiency. Some preliminary interpretations even suggest that certain galaxies might have converted nearly all their matter into stars, though such extreme readings remain unconfirmed and are treated cautiously. Still, even modestly higher rates of star formation in the early universe contradict current expectations. This discovery raised a deeper question. What phase of cosmic history are we really seeing? Are these galaxies caught in a rare early stage transformation? Are we witnessing a form of accelerated evolution, perhaps driven by unusually rapid black hole growth, unexpected gravitational interactions, or star formation conditions that no longer exist in today's universe? To appreciate why this is so disruptive to our existing models, we need to understand the Hubble sphere and the observable universe. In our expanding universe, the farther away a galaxy is, the faster it seems to be receding from us. Beyond a certain distance, called the Hubble radius, galaxies recede faster than the speed of light not because they are moving through space quickly, but because space itself is stretching. According to this principle, we shouldn't be able to observe those galaxies, and yet, we do. This is possible because the expansion of space also expands the limits of our visibility. But at the edge of this reach lies something far more mysterious, a threshold where our ability to observe breaks down. 
The James Webb Space Telescope is now detecting light from galaxies in this elusive frontier, some of which formed when the universe was less than 300 million years old. These galaxies don't disprove our cosmological models outright, but they challenge them in meaningful ways. Some scientists are beginning to openly revise aspects of the Big Bang model, not to discard it, but to refine the details. If galaxies could form sooner than expected, if their light can travel across such extreme distances, and if their structures appear to develop for their age, then maybe the early universe moved faster or followed processes more complex than our equations have so far accounted for, but the surprises go deeper still. Webb's instrument has also picked up something even more curious, a repeating signal that doesn't seem to match any known phenomenon. As part of its deep sky survey, Webb detected subtle patterns in the background noise of the universe. Some researchers interpreted these as potentially rhythmic, almost like a pulse or a beat. But no regular pattern has been confirmed. It's not a pulsar, not gravitational waves, and not a known distortion in the cosmic microwave background. If the signal is real, it may suggest the presence of exotic, unknown cosmic events. Others believe it could be a natural fluctuation or possibly just an instrument artifact, something internal to the telescope's sensors. No mathematical pattern has been verified. Claims of a cosmic heartbeat or encoded message remain entirely speculative and lack empirical support as of 2025. There's also the telescope's observations of gravitational distortions in far-off galaxy clusters. These distortions align with predictions made by the presence of dark matter, that mysterious, invisible substance that makes up much of the universe's mass. In regions like the Bullet Cluster, we've long seen light bending in ways that can't be explained by visible matter alone. Now, Webb is revealing even more of these effects this time, deeper in space and time than ever before. Some initially wondered whether these distortions pointed to unknown mass fields or even hints of other universes. But so far, all signs suggest that these are the results of known physics, dark matter halos, invisible structures that surround galaxies and affect their gravitational influence. These halos act like fingerprints in the cosmic web shaping. Space without being directly observed, there's no confirmed evidence for phantom mass or mirror universes casting gravitational shadows. What we're seeing continues to be part of our own universe's architecture, only now in much greater detail, and as for fringe theories like a reverse time universe, or a reality with opposing physics web has found no data to support them, while some speculative ideas persist in theoretical physics, none have been validated by Webb's findings. If anything, the telescope is showing that our own universe is more than strange enough. In one final twist, Webb was tracking a Light signal thought to come from a distant supernova. It was assumed this light would fade permanently, as most distant light does. But some astronomers have suggested that the same spectral fingerprint reappeared a possibility that would imply either a repeating cosmic structure or a more complex interaction between light and spacetime. However, as of 2025, this reappearance is unconfirmed. It could be an observational glitch or a misunderstood event. So far, no telescope has captured a true cosmic echo. There are two possibilities. Either this light's behavior reflects the geometry of the universe, shaped by its curvature or expansion rate, or it's simply a misinterpretation of overlapping data. No evidence currently supports light reflecting off unknown structures or interacting with something outside the known universe. The event, if it occurred at all, is still best explained Within standard cosmology, the James Webb Space Telescope was built to look backward in time to uncover the story of how the universe began. But in doing so, it has done something perhaps even more profound. It has revealed that the universe is far more intricate, far more dynamic, and far more mysterious than we had imagined. The unexpected galaxies, the gravitational effects, the puzzling signals. The ancient light traveling across time all of it has chipped away at our long-held assumptions. We're learning, slowly, that our models, while powerful, are not complete. That the universe holds secrets still just beyond our reach dot as one. Physicists remarked, this is not a collapse of knowledge. 
but a refinement of it. We are moving from the idea that the universe is fully understood to the recognition that it is still unfolding layer by layer, moment by moment, with every image, signal, and observation. Perhaps the biggest question isn't whether we're alone in the cosmos. Maybe the more important question is whether we're finally ready to understand the one we're in.